Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. Today's date is September 28, 2021, and this is probably going to be a short video on a sad subject, the state of the Bernie Sanders movement within the Democratic Party. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon. There's a link to Patreon in the video description. So credit here to Be Nice at Be Nice to People on Twitter for, I don't actually know them that well, but credit for this tweet and bringing it to my attention. What would Democrats tossing a few crumbs over the palace wall to a fraction of the population mean to you and your family? So if you look at this, this is a tweet from Joe Biden's White House that I checked this out because they posted a screenshot. I went looking for the original tweet and it is real from yesterday, 927 at 730 in the morning. The president's Build Back Better agenda will save nine million Americans. What? There are over, there's like 340 million people in the United States. So saving 9 million of us, an average of $50 per person per month by lowering health insurance premiums, they end with, that's a big deal, just to make it that much funnier. This is the pathetic state of affairs within the Democratic Party. So there was this whole idea of uh, we're going to hold Biden accountable. We're going to push him left. No, you're not. He's going to pull you right. Again, before I go off of this tweet, nine million Americans. Do you know what percentage that is? It's like two and a half percent. Fifty dollars per person per month. You do realize we could just have Medicare for all. We could. Obviously, there are powerful, wealthy people standing in the way of that, but it could be done. And they want you to think it's a big deal that his agenda would save basically the cost of dining out <laughs> once a month. Amazing. So anyway, this is, this is the Democratic Party. This is pulling Biden left. Bernie Sanders, same day, five hours later. Far too many young people are unable to obtain the good paying jobs that are out there because they lack the higher education. It's long due time that every American have the right to two years of free community college. So note, we're not talking about canceling student debt or just free college, period. No, two years of free community college. Now, this used to be just free college, period. But... Bernie Sanders toning it down for his new corporate masters. Now, community college is fine and good. Uh, I have been to community college. I've taken quite a number of credits there. I also got a bachelor's not at community college, and I went on to graduate school. And I can tell you, having compared a couple of different schools, that there are really good courses at community college and oftentimes uh, professors who teach at a larger university sometimes will also teach part-time or like do a few classes at the university, do a few classes at the community college. So in a lot of cases, you're getting some of the same professors teaching basically the same material. It's really not like, you know, uh, totally dumbed down. I mean, you might uh, get more people dropping out of their classes or a little bit less engaged academically. Um, just, you know, with other work commitments and people not sure if college is right for them in general. I mean, a lot of people come out of high school having had a really bad experience because we tend to have a really bad education system in the United States. But anyway, community college, fine and good. If you can take credits at community college, go for it. I, in my experience, you're just as likely to have a good experience as you are at a larger university. I've definitely, some of the best uh, professors I've had were at community college. And actually some of the worst experiences I had were in graduate school, so go figure. So uh, yeah, that's that. But what happened to the original talking point? And also, doesn't this sound a little bit familiar? Yeah, it does, because back in 2015, Obama said the exact same thing. Here's an article from HuffPost, a guide to Obama's free community college plan. This is from May 4, 2015, written by Stephen Dash. Since President Obama announced his new $60 billion community college initiative to provide two years of community college for free in January, 
pundits from the left and the right have been attacking the plan. So this was, uh, it was called the American College Promise. And uh, I am honestly not sure what the outcome was. It had requirements like you must be enrolled at least half time, maintain a 2.5 GPA, make steady progress towards completion, cannot have an adjusted gross income above $200,000, um, et cetera. There's problems with that, by the way. Uh, I know that for FAFSA, they consider your parents' income like up until you're 26, I believe, which if you don't get along with your parents or like otherwise, you know, they were not helping you. Uh, that's a problem. I'm sure that there are ways around it, but anyway, just make the fucking thing free. Make school free. It's super simple, and just watching the United States fall apart while I'm living in it, because I don't realistically have options for, like, living anywhere else, and uh, I know that that's the case with most working people living here. It's just terrifying, to be honest, and part of it is... You know, trying to get an education uh, is extremely difficult and expensive. If you do get an education, you're coming out with a mortgage's worth of debt, but no house. And then maybe you can find a job in your field. Maybe you can't. Maybe you wind up working retail. Um, it's crazy. So, yeah, make it free. Also, at community colleges, you can do all kinds of technical programs that do get you closer to, like, guaranteed work. Uh, but you can get the training there. So... You know, this is a decent idea, but this is also not the original idea. And it's also an idea that the Democrats already floated six years ago and it sunk. I don't know. What ha Does anybody know what happened to this? I tried looking for the outcome. I remember hearing about this and then not hearing about this. And then that's sort of the end of it. I mean, of course, Republicans and other extreme reactionaries attacked it. Uh, you know, it's going to be bad for workers somehow, you know, giving them an education for free, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this is where we're at with the Bernie Sanders thing. So just don't believe them anymore. Please stop believing Democrats. They lie, they lie, they lie, they lie. And uh, I think I'm going to get another video up about AOC and the whole Iron Dome thing. I'm just going to move on to that. It's just depressing. You know, I retweeted that original thing with is this April Fool's Day with uh, the Biden White House being like, hey, $50 a month is a big deal. I mean, to anybody that desperate where $50 is a big deal, you have created an economy that's extremely precarious. And actually, the bigger deal would be moving away from that level of insecurity for most people. So this is absurd. Also, Joe Biden on his campaign website, said he was for a public option. Yeah, uh, don't hold your breath. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. It's such a disgusting subject. Thanks for listening. Thanks to the current patrons whose names are on the screen. You know the rest. Thank you for everything that you do to promote socialism. And we'll catch you in the next video.